Our third big stock story of the day, General Motors. That happens to be our call of the day. We're doing it in part, Jim, because you uh, obviously have made the case for this stock. You yeah. get love today from Barclays and RBC. They both bumped the price target to 52. Yeah. Uh, we just look at shares there trading north of 37. Talk to me. Okay. So, look, estimates are going up. That's what uh, Barclays, RBC, and everybody else is doing. Estimates have been too low. Uh, the stock had a great number yesterday, as they've had for five or six quarters in a row. The stock really hasn't responded all that well. And why? It's a very simple reason. Tariffs, okay? So if you start to get resolution, going back to the show, you know I expect that there will be resolution, maybe not in the next three weeks, but over the next three months, resolution on tariffs with the European Union and China, then you'll see this stock start to get unlocked. The other thing specific to GM, because often it comes up, why GM, not Ford or something else. Uh, the autonomous vehicle division, Cruise. Yes, Waymo's out there. Yes, Tesla's out there. Cruise is a legitimate competitor, and sometime by the end of this year, they should have a robo-taxi working in commercial operation in a major U.S. city. When that happens, that's a further unlocking of GM. Yeah, only GM could get its price target bumped in a couple of places, and the stock's down 3%. Well, it's a bad day. I know, I know, I know. I'm just but saying, it's a bad day on China. Traded. It's a bad day on that's, China. That's, that's, that's what's holding its back. Yeah, Mary Barr has done a great job. Everybody I talked to that's met her, I've not says phenomenal, really executed well. But, you know, predicting uh, what they're going to earn is predicting the economy, both here and, and overseas, even though they pare back their operations. So I think that's, that's the issue. However, I'll call your attention to Tesla. Second price cut on the Model 3. To me, I don't know how this isn't a short. GM is launching a full line of electric vehicles that are going to be... speaking Chanos' language. Yeah. yeah He's been yelling Jim. to the heavens that for uh, years. Yeah, I, uh, and I think he's going to be right. I think this could be a core short in the portfolio. Look, Elon Musk, great CEO, innovator, et cetera, et cetera. But it's ridiculously expensive, and so we see how capitally intensive these companies are through GM, through Ford. This will you be no different. you still disagree with Jim on GM? Look, it's six times earnings. I don't disagree with him. Part of that was just dueling banjos. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's cheap stock. I think it's fine. Just fighting it's not for fighting's <laughs> sake. With, with Weiss? Are you, you kidding do me? that? No, I, I don't do that. I just so out of keep character. Away. It's like you. hugging a porcupine, this guy. Can I make one small point? Yes, you can. No, we're we, out. All right. The 10-year yield is 2.66%, down 60 basis points from about four months ago. Yep. That's positive for autos. It's positive for housing. It's positive for consumption. Don't, don't lose sight of that.